Hello and welcome to my latest revision techniques video and um, today's video is all about visual and auditory learning. Um, before we start, if you'd like to contact me with any questions about this video, YouTube, Teaching and Learning, please subscribe. Email is oliverfernival at gmail.com and you can follow me on Twitter at ibcoordinator underscore. This video is the third in my um, series of revision techniques which are geared to help students um, prepare for written examinations or any, any types of examinations through from um, GCSE up to um, A-level IB Diploma Programme and even on to university. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about visual and audio um, presentations. So the idea is that in today's um, modern society we can really take advantage um, if we're lucky enough to have access to the internet, access to iPhones, so we could actually work on our revision that um, entails us only having to do things maybe once or twice and then we can have it on our phone which we can put onto the computer um, and we can then keep watching and listening back. And um, a real um, benefit of this is that you can get together with students in your class and you can split work up and then you can instantly share it amongst yourselves. So I'm going to talk about um, two, two ways to present. One, um, a visual one like I'm doing now today and then I'm going to show you um, an audio only one. Okay. So the idea is, um, if you'd like to come around, that um, of course we have um, textbooks. Okay, so I'm going to use the example of today's um, video looking at the IB Diploma Economics textbook. And for some students, um, reading textbooks, making notes um, is fine. Um, going back reading and reading really helps them. But if you're a student who the silent reading in your head doesn't help keep the information with you, let's try thinking of different ways we can do it. So I'm going to start with this example on types of unemployment and their causes. Okay, so you can see in this textbook We've got frictional and seasonal, and we go on to structural. So I've got pages of dense writing here that I know is going to come up, okay? A nice summary in, in the book here. So there's, there's two ways of doing it. One, you can do uh, what I'm doing now and record a video. Now, in the video, you've got to do it to suit your own learning needs. So in the video, you could do it with um, posters. So here I am with types of unemployment and their causes. Um, now, what I could do, because I could focus on structural unemployment like this and just put a list of the main points. And I might just give a few minutes on changing the economy and um, say what I need to say, and then I can go back and listen to it time again. Another way of doing it is I could set my video up to question. I could find the weaknesses that I'm not sure about, and I could stand here and record myself asking questions, how do government policies influence frictional and seasonal unemployment? I can ask myself the question and then I can go back and listen to it until I get the answer in my head. And it's really good when I'm doing this if I really make sure I understand what the examiner is looking for um, in the way I've answered the question. So what I've, what I've done there then is, uh, because I, I enjoy looking and listening the way, I, the way I work, that I've got this now for good and I can sit on a train to school instead of you know, just listening to boring old music, I can sit, watch myself and keep going over and over in a way that I like. Um, on another video I've done, you know, I've got mind maps there. I could even um, ask myself, give myself, um, video myself making quizzes. Um, <clears throat> another way of doing it, quick fire question and, uh, question and answering. Um, and as I said, um, what I might want to do is make sure that people um, share it with me so I can split it up, okay? So what I, the way I can do that here is that in my class, um, I can agree with different students in my class that I'm going to make a presentation uh, on this part and then I can make sure that maybe what I'm good at or what I actually need to go over that people, students in my class have um, chosen things that suit us. So what we do is we split it up nicely. I've got four ways here. Um, so there's four groups in the class. So what I might want to do is how I've just presented to you, but also what I can do, if I'm lucky enough to have an iPhone here, is I can go onto my iPhone and something here called Voice Memo, okay? And I can decide to record myself speaking, frictional and seasonal unemployment. So I'm simply now recording my speech and I'm going to read through uh, what I need to know, um, how I learn, I might want to summarise, I might want to even put questions again at the end, okay? And then when I've stopped that, I press stop there, okay, I've done, and I'm going to now call it a name, 
okay frictional and season seasonal unemployment okay so I've now got that okay I save it and if I go here you can see on my iPhone press this button here and I can airdrop it what happens is what I can do now is that I can with my three other friends is that I can now send that to them automatically so in a bigger class I can break it up more and you can even do one piece of work for the 1920 in your class and what I then got is a whole library of information here and the good thing is that this information now is portable okay so not only do I prefer I prefer watching and I prefer listening than I do reading books but if you just look at the size of this really heavy economics textbook against my phone I can use this Throughout the day, I can use this um, on the train to school, as I said before. I can do it in bed at night. I can just sit and listen and, and doze off to sleep, listening to myself talk about economics. I can pretty much use this uh, wherever I like, and also as many times as I like, okay? So, I believe that audio, audio, sorry, audio and visual uh, learning, is, if that's for you, it's really good, and especially with today's society, that, um, you can make yourself more of an active reviser, okay? Because, you know, revision for some people sitting there, um, it does work. But if it doesn't and you actually want to take action, you've now got these videos, you've now got yourself recording. So it's active revision and it's revision that can, one, be used at any time and two, can be shared um, amongst friends. Uh, I think that's all the notes I've covered for this video. Um, I hope that it's given you some ideas on how to revise very quick very easy, make sure that it's done to the style that suits you as a learner, okay? Because revision doesn't need to be um, something that's really boring. Um, if you're a listener, get listening on the phone, do it now. Thank you very much. Just to let you know that these, these revision ideas all come from um, revision techniques, documents that I've um, created. So if you would like to have this document, please drop me a line um, at any of the addresses, um, any of the ways of getting in contact today. Thank you for listening.